Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Have you ever thought to yourself, if I can only get to graduation, if I can only get to the point where I own a house, if I can only get to the point where I don't have debt, if I can only get to the point where I have a million dollars, I'll be happy. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that in my life. My father was like that. Not as much now, but he was when I was growing up. Uh, always thinking about the future. Once I have X, Y, Z, I'll be happy, right? The first 25 years of my life were consumed by trying to be successful, trying to get through school, trying to do the best I can and and start my life, right? Right after graduating from professional school, when I actually became a doc, I realized firsthand that the journey is what makes things fun. The journey is the fun part. Getting there is the fun part. I have experienced that feeling many, many times over since then. And I know there's a lot of people out there that struggle with this, where they, they have a tendency to think about the future uh, and they miss the moment. And then maybe perhaps later in life or down the road, they regret not living in the moment. Uh, I remember seeing an interview with Troy Aikman, uh, the, the famous football player for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, he was the quarterback when they were a, a dynasty in the 90s. I remember seeing a, an interview with him talking about how whenever he was, he saw himself in pictures or in film, he would never be smiling. He d he never enjoyed actually playing the game. And he regretted that. He regretted that about his career. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback, very successful, now a broadcaster on television. And he's actually openly said that he wishes he had actually enjoyed the game more than he did. When I was doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, a lot of the guys that I was talking to, they were sexually frustrated. That was the biggest, that was probably the biggest thing that kept coming up when I was coaching guys in troubled marriages where they were frustrated with their bedroom. Uh, they were in dead bedroom situations. And I can't tell you how many times I heard a dude say, if I could only have sex with my wife three times a week, I would be totally happy. And in the back of my head, I was like, there it is. If I can only have X, Y, Z, it'll, I'll be happy. It doesn't work that way. Another example is when I actually uh, paid off my student loans. Uh, it took me uh, about seven years to pay off all of my debt from school. So I was about 35 years old when that, that happened. And I remember getting the letter saying that my debt was all paid off. And I was thinking, it literally said, it was, it was like two sentences long. And I was like, that's it? <laughs> wow. I was expecting a chorus of angels and, and fireworks and all of these things uh, after I satisfied the, those payments. That didn't happen. Uh, and I was just like, wow, okay, that's, this feels different. And it felt hollow, actually. Um, you know, yes, the payments went away. Great. Good stuff. But I was not expecting to experience that feeling after paying off my student debt. So where does true happiness lie? Well, setting short-term goals is very, very important in your life to maintain your drive, your ambition, but they're short-term, okay? They're not meant to be long-term goals, and you're going to have to reset them over time. I remember while I was going through college, I had three main goals that I wanted to achieve. One, be a good husband and good father. And two, become a doc. And three, become a race car driver. <laughs> Those were my three goals. That's I love racing and I love, I love working on cars. And I achieved all of those goals before I was 30. So is my life over at that point by successfully hitting all of those goals in my life? No, you just have to reset and reevaluate where you are in life. Okay. So 
Setting short-term goals is very, very important when it comes to your happiness. Resetting them as time goes by will give your life meaning and purpose. So if you want to talk about another analogy, how about a video game? When you first start out a video game, it's a lot of fun building up, uh, leveling up, keep leveling up. And then what happens when you actually beat the game and you've leveled up? If, if you've got a, a total of 100 levels to build up and then you hit level 100 and then the game becomes really easy, right? Well... What happens at that point? Most likely, you're probably going to put down the controller and stop playing the game. Well, you can't necessarily do that in life. Okay. And the biggest thing and the biggest point of this particular episode, live in the moment. Enjoy the moment. Even if it's difficult, even if it's a challenge, that challenge is actually what makes life worth living. If you are, if you are driven to succeed and it's really hard most of the time when something is very very difficult that's where true success lies because most people are not willing to do the work to get over the hump okay there's a reason why not a whole lot of folks are, are doctors okay because they don't want to put their life off for that long to achieve that long-term goal well the people that actually do that usually are pretty successful in life and they're typically pretty happy and they're very satisfied because they achieved that goal. Okay. That's, that's where true happiness lies. Living in the moment, setting short-term goals, setting long-term goals and achieving them and resetting, reevaluate your life. But the key, the key, ladies and gentlemen, live in the moment, enjoy the moment because it passes by very quickly. There you have it. If you like this material, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate everybody that's already done that for me. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.